that brother who you trying to kill my crew trying to steal my welcome team. welcome welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another edition of call of duty black ops 3 running with buzz killer tasty junk and um uh, ice and i got another buddy in here man young that's who it was young so it's a five-man crew on this one guys and we were just trying to do what we could on black ops 3 having a little fun getting ready for black ops 4 beta which will be this weekend for us xbox one users ps4 uh players get it exclusively so they'll get a little more practice in before the actual game drops than xbox but it's all good we'll we'll get what we get I don't really care, really, honestly. Blackout probably might not be my mode simply because I don't think there's any score streaks in the game. And the only reason I really love Call of Duty the most is being rewarded uh, for getting many, many kills. So I'll probably, you'll probably be seeing a lot of uh, either free for all or team deathmatch or something like that, uh, mostly just because of the score streaks. Uh, I am, that's. The reason I've started playing Call of Duty was I love the fact that you got rewarded for your, you know, getting five, six kills. Now, on this one here, we're just kind of whipping these dudes around, you know. I'm running Razorback with Rapid Fire, Stalk, VOA 3 Sight, and Fast Mags. And as far as perks, guys, I'm using my uh, Scavenger to replace my Shock Charging Trip Mines and Ammunition and overclock so I can get my hives as quickly and comfortably as possible. Uh, I like to get the hives. It's a slower uh, specialist uh, weapon uh, to get. Is, that means if you didn't use overclock. So it's kind of like the scythe. To me, the scythe, I think, is the very slowest one out of all the specialists. But uh, I wouldn't run the scythe unless I had overclock because of the fact. There's your merciless with the wraith. So today, guys, we're running Century Wraith and Wraps on this one. And, uh, yeah, they make their way in the world today, for sure. Uh, and they go in in a big way. But, yeah, you know, I'm excited about watching the content on Blackout. But am I, you know, stoked to play it? Not really, guys. I mean, honestly, I, I look forward to playing it. It'll be something new. But I never played PUBG, HZ1, or uh, Fortnite, or any of those games. Kind of just stayed with Call of Duty. That's basically, you know, kind of per. I just like playing Call of Duty games. I've tried, you know, the uh, Battlefield 5 or whatever. Didn't really like it. Uh, the maps are so huge, and I'm sure the Blackout mode's going to be the same way. But, um,. It just was very difficult locking in on a certain target from far away. Unless you're using like a sniper and just holding them back. But, you know, like I said, this was my, this, you know, Call of Duty is my favorite, you know, game as far as game I play. And, um, man, that Wraith is going in, huh? And, uh, but, it, you know, I'll probably play a little Blackout. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sure I'll have a good time. But, you know, after a while, I'm going to be looking for some score streaks. Oh, some of 19. Oh, some of 19. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be looking for score streaks, that's for sure. We wearing these dudes out, huh? Look at the score. See what happens when you get in a full party, uh, you know, of people that you, you're running with. It just, you do so much well. And guess what? We're going to be playing that way for uh, Black Ops 4 or 2. I've got a good set of guys that I have that I run with and that allow me to run with them. And guess what? You know, we hold it down and try to be effective and, you know, win the game. That's what it's all about. We're still, I'm still grinding my comp, uh, weapons bribe contract. I think I'm at 85, 86 wins. But, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about getting there. I'll get there eventually. I just would like to see them put out a new gun before Black Ops 4 drops just to keep this game irrelevant. Even though, you know, everybody's kind of burnt out four years or whatever of, of gameplays with it. I still enjoy it with friends. We get on here and just have a blast. Look at that two-piece. Sexy and all. Get up. What? What? Got a hive in me, back pocket. Mmm. Two. Three. Come on. Four. And 
man. Five. Let me lay one right over there. What are you looking at, dude? They're up here just in my view of sight. Oh, they're all coming from right here now. All right, there's a second sentry. I was just about to get my score streaks. I think somebody took me off in the very end, like right up here. It is what it is, though. We had a blast last night, and we ran we ran some teams, pushed them back, and got our wins. There's your second break and second wraps, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I know we put the streaks on these dudes pretty hard, man. But this is how you can be effective on Redwood. This is Snow Redwood, but it play, it's the same map. It's just with, you know, snow, obviously. And I just play this outer edge on water side. Now, my buddies, they play um, the tree bridge side, which is very uh, different for me. Um, thing about that tree bridge, you can fall off the map. And so there's some places over here you can fall off the map, like right where I'm at. If you backed up too hard, you could fall off the map. And I just lay these hives in intricate places. And we pretty much finished this one up strong. Yeah, this was a hundred to, looks like 15 or 16. That's it. Goodness gracious. 100 to 15. What about that score? Of course, I get final kill and my Elgato starts flaking out on me. Thanks, Elgato. Look at this. Blurring out. Sorry about that. I think I went like 42 and 2 or something. I don't know. Thumbs up the video, though, if you made it to the end. We did at least get you a great gameplay before it ended. You have 42 and 2 and 1 assist with a 21 KD. That's not too bad. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. I'm on time. Yup. And I'm out, guys.